5 World Facts You Believed That Are Totally False Part 2 Hello, Science Tellers! Welcome to Science Deli, the channel where we tell you amazing stories about science and technology. In this video, we are going to challenge some of the common myths and misconceptions that you may have heard or believed about the world. From the Great Wall of China to camel humps, from fortune cookies to Viking helmets, from Cleopatra to quantum computers, we are going to reveal the truth behind these false facts, and show you how science and technology can help us understand the world better. Are you ready to be surprised and enlightened? Let's get start. Great Wall of China Here's a fact that has made its rounds in trivia games and dinner table conversations. The Great Wall of China is the only man-made structure visible from space. Sounds impressive, right? Well, prepare for your bubble to be burst, it's not true. The Great Wall, while magnificent and expansive, is simply too narrow to be seen from the orbit of our planet. Imagine trying to spot a single strand of hair from a couple of feet away, quite a challenge, wouldn't you say? Now imagine that hair being thousands of miles away. That's roughly what an astronaut would be dealing with when trying to spot the Great Wall from space. According to NASA, the Great Wall is barely visible from a low Earth orbit, and only under perfect conditions. It is completely invisible from the Moon, contrary to a popular legend. The truth is that there are many other man-made structures that are more visible from space, such as cities, roads, bridges, dams, and even airports. So, the next time you think of the Great Wall of China, don't forget that it's not so visible after all. Camel Humps those iconic humps on a camel's back are often thought to be filled with water, right? After all, camels are famous for their ability to endure harsh desert conditions and travel long distances without water. However, it's time to bust that myth. Camel humps are not filled with water. They're actually reservoirs of fatty tissue. This fat is metabolized into energy when food and water sources are scarce, sustaining the camel on its long desert treks. When a camel finally gets to hydrate, it can drink up to 40 gallons, 151 liters, of water in one go, but this water is stored in their bloodstream, not in their humps. The humps also serve as a cooling mechanism, as they allow the rest of the body to have less insulation and more surface area to dissipate heat. The humps can also shrink and expand, depending on the amount of fat stored. A well-fed camel can have large and firm humps, while a malnourished camel can have small and floppy humps. So, the next time you see a camel, don't forget that its humps are not water tanks. Fortune Cookies Ever finished up a meal at a Chinese restaurant with a fortune cookie? You might have thought these sweet, crisp cookies with tucked away messages were a quintessential part of Chinese cuisine. Well, think again. Fortune cookies aren't actually a Chinese invention. They have their roots in Japan and San Francisco. The cookies as we know them today, complete with fortunes, originated in early 20th century San Francisco. They were made by Makoto Hagiwara, a Japanese immigrant, in the Japanese tea garden. He claimed to have been inspired by a traditional Japanese cracker, called Sujiura Senbei, which had a paper fortune inside. However, a similar type of cookie, with a message inside, was found in Japan as far back as the 19th century. These cookies were called omakuji, and they were sold at temples and shrines as a form of divination. The cookies were introduced to America by Japanese immigrants, who ran tea houses and restaurants. However, during World War II, when many Japanese Americans were interned, the cookies were popularized by Chinese Americans, who took over the business. The cookies were also associated with Chinese food, as they were often served as a dessert or a complimentary treat. So, the next time you crack open a fortune cookie, don't forget that it's not a Chinese invention. Viking Helmets when picturing a Viking, what's the first image that comes to mind? A fierce warrior with a horned helmet, right? Well, it's time to revise that image. Despite their popular depiction in modern media, Vikings didn't actually wear horned helmets. This popular image is a Victorian-era invention. The idea of Vikings wearing horned helmets was largely propagated by 19th-century romanticized artistic representations, such as paintings, operas, and novels. These works were influenced by ancient and medieval sources, such as Roman sculptures, Celtic artifacts, and Norse sagas, which depicted various peoples with horned or winged helmets. However, these helmets were either ceremonial, mythical, or belonged to different cultures, not the Vikings. In reality, there's no historical evidence to suggest that Vikings wore such helmets. 
Practicality discouraged the use of horns. Imagine the difficulty of navigating a ship or engaging in battle with unwieldy horns on your head. The horns would also make the helmets more vulnerable to damage, as they could be easily grabbed or broken by enemies. The helmets that Vikings actually wore were simple and functional, made of leather or metal, and sometimes adorned with metal bands, spikes, or mail. So, the next time you think of a Viking, don't forget that they didn't wear horned helmets. Cleopatra When you think of Cleopatra, you likely imagine an Egyptian queen, right? It's time to rethink that. Cleopatra, one of the most famous women in history, wasn't actually Egyptian. Her ancestry can be traced back to Greek Macedonia. Cleopatra was a part of the Ptolemaic dynasty, which was of Greek Macedonian origin. This dynasty came to power in Egypt after the death of Alexander the Great, who conquered the ancient land in the 4th century BC. The Ptolemies ruled Egypt for nearly 300 years, until the Roman conquest in the 1st century BC. They maintained their Greek culture and language, and rarely intermarried with the native Egyptians. Cleopatra was the last of the Ptolemies, and the only one who bothered to learn the Egyptian language. She was also a master of diplomacy and politics, who allied herself with powerful Roman leaders, such as Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. She was also a patron of arts and sciences, who supported the famous Library of Alexandria. She was a remarkable woman, who left a lasting legacy in history. But she was not an Egyptian queen. These were some of the world facts that you've believed that are totally false. We hope you enjoyed this video, and learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. And, let us know in the comments below, which fact surprised you the most, and why. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video, where we will continue to debunk more world facts that are totally false. Until then, stay curious, and keep science telling. Bye!